but Peterman's kind of like the Roddy Roddy Piper right now. How does what? All things considered, Piper should have been a WWE champion because he was entertaining enough. He was fun, you know. He did yeah. he did everything he needed. He was wrong guy, wrong time. <laughs> If you're going to cut somebody, McCarron's the guy you cut, right? You can cut Peterman, sure, but if you're going to cut one, you're going to cut McCarron. That would be disappointing. You have the least amount of skin in that game. You really do. You know, Peterman's got McDermott's name on him, and McDermott's not going to let him go. McCarron's brought in, so if you're going to cut somebody, McCarron's probably the guy that you cut. But neither of them gave you a reason to cut them yesterday. Uh Uh-uh. That game, neither of them gave you a reason. They were very efficient, yep. albeit. To tell you the truth, I was kind of scared that Benjamin was getting traded. Because the last time a receiver had that volume of targets in a preseason game was Watkins. Yep. No, he wanted it. That's why, against Carolina, he wanted it. He was, I love how Peterman, too, it was funny. He realizes he's in a quarterback competition. And playing, he was, one, playing to his strengths. The other thing he was doing was he was trying to prove that he could make some of the throws that Allen makes. Like, he was purposely throwing it outside on the, like, from the numbers to try to see if, hey, man, I got this arm strength, too. No, he doesn't. (laughs) It's a barrage. It's not. It's not horrible. No. It's not hateful. No. The people bag on Peterman's arm strength. His arm strength's fine. It's fine. For an NFL quarterback, it's fine. So, while I enjoyed watching Peterman play, the offense was more vertical with McCarron, and I think that's the way Dable is going to want to go. Right? The offense was more vertical than the camera. They really were. I thought both offenses looked sharp. I thought Peterman had a lot more time than McCarron to throw the football. McCarron had to work the pocket a little bit more, but I thought he looked fine. Uh, Bodine was fine at center. Glory was looked really good. Um, would the I ex- looked oh, terrible. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, what do you expect? What do you expect? I expect the guy that started over 30 games for Aaron Rodgers to be a little bit better than that. I'm really curious. Which forced AJ to sometimes rush his drop back, rush his, a couple of his throws. But he wasn't nervous. No. He was rushing some stuff to get it off, but he was just like, Yeah. Can you guys hold him for a couple more seconds? I got guys open. I thought AJ and Peterman made good enough reads, right? I thought I thought they made good enough reads. I'll what? tell you. I'll tell you about a play. The, the one long one to Riley. That everyone's talking about. This what he did on that play is something that <clears throat> can only be gained through experience. Because he dropped back and he just kind of shifted his body to the right. 
he just kind of like hopped to his right a little bit and then threw it back left. That little shift right pulls that safety, right? Yeah, pulls the safety, pulls any linebackers that are going to be, it, it opens up zones. You realize that however, however much you shift in the pocket, you're going to open up different kinds of zones and different lanes for yourself to throw. So while a linebacker may have to be like, listen, I'm in this zone, he's not going to get in here. If I adjust where my launch point is, I can get it there. So what he did, that's what he did. He, he dropped back. Now, some of that was attributed to the pressure. I understand that. But then he just also very subtly just hopped right, gunned it back across the field. You know, for a long game. It was, it was phenomenal. But the receivers couldn't catch anything. It was awful. So who do, you, who do you think played better, McCarron or Peter? Given the circumstances. McCarron. That's not with rose-colored glasses on. I know. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I'm, I'm, All I, I got, here comes Paul. I don't even know what I'm thinking, McCarran so you went, can tell me. McCarron went 5 for 12 for 24 yards. Paul's going to say, he's a McCarron apologist. No, McCarron looked better. That's it. Like, if, if I had to make my decision right now, who's going to start for me on Sunday, I saw McCarron do more with less than Peter. So, like we said, all things considered, for the most part, Peter was with the ones, McCarron was with the twos, Allen was with the threes, right. and fours, and guys are going to be bagging groceries in a week. Um, it's hard to, here's the thing though, we talk about McCarron outperformed Peter and because of the, the personnel he had around him. Right. Okay. Allen was playing in Laramie again. Yep. If you want to think about it this way, it's hard to place McCarron or Allen with the ones and say that they would have outperformed Peterman mm -hmm. because it was seven of eight or nine of ten. Right. Like, what was six of those or five of those to Benjamin? Yeah. I mean, it's it's hard to in the one the one pass, albeit was behind Ivory, it went off his hands, and it got picked. So, um. It's hard to say that those guys would have performed better than he did from a number standpoint. Mm -hmm. Now, were some of those throws forced that Peterman did? I didn't see him forced. I didn't no. see him throw it into trouble, and he got no. bailed out by the wide receiver. Yeah. Benjamin's a big dude. That's what you're using him for. Right. So, I, I, I'm interested to see if you put McCarron in there, how much di just different it is. If you put Allen in there, how much different it is? Does Mc, does McCarron and Allen make those same throws as Peterman does in those in that scenario? So do they see the same thing? Do they make the, the same rate? That's what I'm trying to think. I'm trying to say because he performed like a starter. He Peterman. did. He did. First drive, boom, boom, boom. Second drive, you know, a couple drives. All right, I'm good. Yeah, it looked good. Looked sharp. Looked decisive. Didn't look lost. He looked good. He looked like a man on a mission after... Because I don't think he ever wants to hear L.A. Rams again. Or no. L.A. Chargers again. No. That's all everybody wanted to talk about after the game is that game again. And that's the life he's going to have to live for a while. That game is not going to be forgotten anytime soon. But it just that's what comes with being an NFL quarterback is you're going to have to answer questions you don't want to answer. And uh, I'm sure you're very tired of that one. I don't know, though, but, you know, to me, when I watched the game, McCarron just looked better. I, I get that Peterman's numbers were great, right? But McCarron's saw, weren't bad either. It was no, 7 of 10. Yeah, he was 7 of 10. I saw, I mean, McCarron didn't have the Calvin Benjamin blanket to throw to, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, removing that, I thought... McCarron threw more passes than you're going to see in a game. Because, I mean, we all know that these defenses are running vanilla-based defenses. They're not giving them anything crazy. You think the twos were, were being more aggressive than the ones? No, I'm just saying the twos are sloppier. So the routes are a little bit tight. The routes aren't as tight. Things are just not as good. The receivers. I was talking about the defense that McCarron was facing. You thought you think they were more aggressive in blitzing or doing anything like that? 
Yeah. Really? Why okay. not? You got those guys out there. Why? I'm just saying. I didn't see. Covered? I didn't see much of it. I didn't see much of them blitzing. I just saw. In the in the confusion of the game, if there's a lot of <laughs> missed blocks, I guess it would it would look like a guy like blitz. Like, where would that guy leak through? He used to beat his man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for, perhaps you're right. The sieve came through. Right. Yeah, perhaps you're right. But the thing was, though, Peterman uh, Peterman was playing very very well. He was very excited. It was almost kind of like a, a tiny bit of redemption for him. Oh, yeah. Because he's like, listen, sure that felt great. I'm tired of hearing this. I know what I can do, and I know how hard I worked this offseason. Here's what I'm going to do. That's one. You got McCarron, who's like, it's like old hat to him, even though he's, it's only his fifth year. Yeah. I've done this. I've played in preseason games. I've played in regular season, a few regular season games. All right. Oh, you guys missed a block. That's fine. All right. Let's get it on this one. Let's get it back. All right. It's second and 13. Let's try to get half of it. You know, communication was good. And then when Allen came in, it was, okay, okay, Rook, let's see how many plays you can run. Let's see how your progressions are. Let's see what we need. Because they see everything in practice. They probably called plays tailored toward all right, what does he need to work on? Mm. Let's go through this. He went through his reads. He got out of the pocket. He didn't put his body necessarily in harm's way a lot, even though he had bodies all around him. So one thing I didn't see um, a lot of, which is what you worry about with the offense, is communication problems. Yeah. I didn't see that a lot. Nope. I don't know, dude. I think this job is still McCarron's to lose. I understand Peterman got the start, but I just don't see them starting Peterman. I just don't see it. I think he he he, he made a very compelling argument. Yeah, oh yeah. Because a lot of the formations that Allen was running was very similar. It was twins open. Right. And if those of you, there's two receivers to one side, and there's one receiver spread out on the left, and there's a tight end. So it's... It's like uh, it's like Ace. It's for you Madden talk. It's very basic though, because it's very easy to see, right? It's very easy to read what you're gonna go to. You know what I didn't see? Mm. You don't need to wait for all 22 for this. Damn! I didn't see mirror routes. No, no, that's one thing that's that we saw a, a lot yes. with uh, manual. We saw mirror routes and. To, again, just for those of you that don't know what that is, that means the receivers are running the same routes, just on opposite sides of the field. So um, you just pick and choose your battles. It's, exactly. it's basically like quarterbacking one on one. Right. We want to we want to ease you into this. See which side is better. And, and the problem was with Manny was that he couldn't even complete passes in that. No. But no. Allen did not have that. He had root combinations on both sides that were just pick and choose, man. Some he chose right. Some he didn't choose right. Some he didn't choose right, but still completed it. I think one thing that happens when you have a rookie quarterback is the offensive coordinator has to immediately throw out eighty percent of the read routes that receivers have to run. Because you're a rookie QB that's not necessarily going to pick up the nuance of what a wide receiver is going to run. So I think the the OC has to throw out the routes that are read routes by the receiver. Again, for those of you that don't know what a read route is. That's when the receiver has multiple options when he's running the play. So if, let's say, the deep the, the defensive back drops back 10 yards and off coverage right before the snap, the read route might be a five-stick, right? Because the receiver's going to be able to get open five yards. Might be able to run a five-yard stick route or might be able to run a 25-yard post, right? So the receiver gets the choice of which of those routes to run. And obviously can't communicate that with the quarterback. It's all... It's all depicted off what the coverage is. So, in that situation, a defensive back's going to drop back 10, and you've got a five-yard stick route. That's an easy five yards. But the quarterback and the receiver have to be on the same page. Think of the play when Allen threw it. Uh, uh, McLeod was going down the right sideline, and he threw it noticeably short. Yeah. He didn't throw it short. That was the wrong read by McLeod. McLeod went straight. He was supposed to run it in. Right. Um, at least that's my... That's my analysis of that. I, I, I think <laughs> wherever Allen put it is actually where it should have went. 
but McLeod readed that he had to, he had to extend that into a fly pattern instead of cut it up because the safety was, was coming down in the box. So um, I don't think. Yeah, but I, what yeah. do you what do you think is an OC? Aren't you? To me, I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm trying to throw out anything that is going to be miscommunicated. Either Allen came into camp and came to the Bills with more of that ability than uh, than everyone gave him credit for, or they're really developing him fast. Either way, he is further along than I thought he would be in his first game, his first preseason game. Um, what do I think? I think that they're going to try to incorporate more read routes for Allen as the preseason progresses. I really think they are. Thank you.